begin by recalling uh, the definition of Magistar operator. Magistar operator. Star operator. We denote it by a star. Okay. It's a linear operator.
have a space one forms. Okay. Of one forms in R3. Okay. It would be spanned by dx one dx two dx three so any one form can be written as linear a linear combination, combination of these and I want to get the outputs okay in this space actually whose bases are dx one to dx two dx two dx three dx three and dx3 value dx1 okay, so this is what would be the basic actually not equal to the span of this okay and then we saw that if you operate star dx1 okay star onto dx1 using this definition you get on other side what dx2 when <laughs> dx3 okay and, and if you operate dx2 the star on dx2 you get minus dx1 wedge dx3 which is same as dx3 dx4 if you operate the star on dx3 dx3 you get dx2 1 x1 dx2 you can make sense of it if 1 is there you have 2 and 3 there and 2 then you have 1 and 3 3 and then 1 and 2 ok so here I am treating psi as a map from here to here ok psi as a map from here to here but I can treat also psi as a map from this space to this space in other words I can take m equal to 2 Again, n equal to 3, then it's going to be a map from you know two forms to one form set. So, in that <coughs> case, what will happen? You'll, you will expect the precise opposite of basically. This. So, what do I mean by that? That if you take the star of dx2 by dx3, you get dx1. Okay, and the star of dx2 by dx3. Dx3 dx1 wedge dx3 dx3 wedge dx1. You gotta get minus dx2. Ah, okay. So, oh, okay. Okay. So, if I put a minus here, then I don't need to put a minus here. Okay. If I'm not putting minus here, okay, then I need to put a minus here. I have to put minus at least at one place. So I can, okay, so when I am saying that I am applying a star on this, this is same as that I am applying star on this actually. Okay, so just switch it. Okay, so you can, you can see that you are going to get. Or you can, you can do the same with, okay, put a 1 here and 3 here, put a minus here and you get the exact opposite. Okay, it's fine. Take it? As possible. And similarly, the others. By the way, what would be the star of dx1 wedge dx2 wedge dx3? <coughs> so, if I have my definition, so in that case, I am treating the star as a map from where to where? Three to from three forms, R3, into, into zero forms. Are you getting the point? So, obviously, at a point P. So, the star of this is going to be. So, what are the bases here? So, bases are like 1 actually. Right? So, fundamental is so dx2, dx3 would be what? So, it is going to be okay, 1 over 3 minus 3 factorial. Okay? And you have a Hibishikita symbol. That will be one, two, three, simply. And you're gonna have, you're not gonna have anything here, okay? Because you don't have anything, so you get a one actually. Okay. And from this, you can also deduce what.
But if, if I treat star as a map from, so in other words, I take m to be 0 actually, I can take also m to be 0. So if I take m to be 0, then I can, I'm treating this as a map. And 3 or 3? 0 to 3. From 0 to 3. 3 and R3 uh, and R3. Uh, this is just an example, okay? So making sure that how things are working. I can I can ask a question that okay, what would be the star of uh, you know one R may be a generic effect. Okay. What would be this? If so this would be if okay. So F times so it's like 1 over 3 minus a 0 factorial, epsilon 1, 2, 3 here, okay, and dx1 wedge dx3 2 wedge dx3 actually, okay. F is it is a result. Why? Because, so F is like, what do you call, as, okay, before getting into that, so, so if we know, so so it's like it, so it's like a scalar. So what if if you apply a star on, for example, two dx one actually. So two is like a linear scalar actually. So so the output would be star. What would be star dx one? So this would be two times. Okay, whatever the map is. So it's like a scalar. You have S. And this would be one, so you get what F, okay? Dx1 wedge, dx2 wedge, and dx3. In fact, you can treat this as FDB because this is this is representing what? This is kind of a volume, actually, abstract volume. Okay? Obviously, you can ask the question. What would be okay. so so imagine if alpha and beta are two one forms. It's like a one dx one plus a two dx two a three dx three and beta is another one form. Okay, B one dx one B two dx two plus dx3 and then I can ask a question what is the star of alpha wedge beta okay. what is the star of alpha wedge beta so first I need to do what I need to compute alpha wedge beta and then apply the star so the alpha wedge beta and you can you can compute it okay you can you know do calculations I'm just directly writing it so, so you're going to get something like this, A2, B3, so you're going to get something like determinant, okay? A2, B3, and A3, B2, Dx1, plus, okay, I'm not getting into the calculation, so we already know that how to compute this, so I'm assuming that you can compute it, so you're going to get what, A1, okay, A1, B3 minus A3 B1 and DX2 plus A1 B1 minus A2 B1 okay. A1 B2 minus A1 A2 B1 and I have DX3 okay. So if I apply the star on this, basically I computed it turns out it is something like this then, okay, so since the star is linear, so so it's going to directly apply onto you know these wedge products while these are going to stay same. So you get what? Two So so you're gonna have you're gonna have this two form like two form. Obviously, you get a two form. You get a two b three as it is scalar minus a three. B2 or oh, yeah, DX2 DX3 
dx2 wedge dx3 dx3 plus wo bhi iske sath bhai aaye okay ah sorry uh, we have we have i have done that is it you going to have a wedges here actually so if mm -hmm. this is yes this is something pretty silly so you going to have a dx2 wedge dx3 here you're going to have Okay. Here you're going to have dx1 wedge. I don't know that why you didn't observe it. You should have. I took at least, you know, see at least this much that, okay? The expression of the main cells. Okay, so a1, b3 minus B3, B3, A1, and we're going to have what? Dx1 minus Dx3, and we're going to have here Dx1 and B1. Dx1 wedge, Dx1 wedge, Dx2. Okay. So if you apply star on it, I'm directly writing it. If, if I apply star on it, this star is going to be. I'm lying on this active. Star will be applied here. And therefore, you're going to get the same dx1 plus 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 one. Is it minus or plus? We are going to have the same and dx3. Sir, minus in the dx2. We have a minus in the middle. Yes, dx3. A1, b3, a3. 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 A1, b3, a3.